I'm here with John Niven, the Marketing Director of ProtoMed Limited, and James McPherson, the IT Development Manager, to talk about the BioDose Electronic MAR system. John, tell me, what exactly is the BMAR system? BMAR is um, an extension to the original BioDose Total Medication Management System, so working in conjunction with that, BMAR essentially does away with paper-based recording of, uh, of medication on the rounds um, and administration. Essentially, um, the nursing staff and care staff work with a, uh, a, a barcode scanner and an iPad instead of handwritten, um, handwritten MAR charts. Um, it's a big leap forward in patient safety and also safety for the staff as well because of the fact that there is now no uh, potential loopholes for inaccuracy. Um, there is now time accountability in the respect that when any data is entered into the iPad after being scanned by the, uh, by the barcode reader, it's all done in real time. How can care and nursing homes actually access the system then? The system is prepared um, by the pharmacy um, in the dispensary um, and essentially would be supplied as normal with the existing biodose system. Okay. Um, there are a whole host of um, features built in, built into the overall system, which do mean that it's it's um, incredibly easy and safe to use. The original Bido system's already proven to reduce medication round times by upwards of 50% um, in an average size care or nursing home. Um, add this into the equation, and it's even faster, and it's also more, a lot more efficient and safe. Um, there are a whole range of reports that can be produced by the system um, and those would include um, exact times um, for when drugs have been administered, uh, not just um, in terms of items in the tray but also boxed items, um, external items. From a safety standpoint as mentioned, um, it does away with the potential inaccuracy of paper-based recording. Because all this information is, um, is being stored and entered in real time, uh, essentially what comes up within the database is exactly what has taken place. It's a huge, um, it's a huge piece of mind for the management um, of a care home or if it's a, if it's a large care home group, if you're in head office, you have the facility to actually see medication rounds happening in real time, spot errors as and when they occur, if they do, spot patterns emerging over time, um, any discrepancies that might take place. Um, so things can be um, things can be highlighted and problems can be rectified far quicker than they would have been able to in the past. Um, from a performance management standpoint, it's actually very very useful. Um, you know, from a head office standpoint, management level, you can see how staff are performing when they're using the system because it is tracking their movements. Essentially, it's recording their movements. It's recording how fast rounds are happening. So uh, when there's a lot of care homes to, to look after, um, it certainly makes life a lot easier for keeping track of um, how the staff are, uh, are performing. Now James, you're here to demonstrate the actual product, so show us how it works. BMAR consists of um, an Apple iPad um, and tablet and a separate Bluetooth scanner. Each care staff will have their own unique ID card, which um, with a barcode helps identify them as they log into the system. So all they need to do is simply scan the barcode on the ID card. The system then inputs their username into the, onto, the, onto the screen and they just put their password into the, on, on the screen to get into the system. So now as they've logged in, anything they do on the system is being tracked um, and they're the user um, doing the actual, you know, all the processes on the system. So the first part I can show you is the checking in feature. Basically any trays that um, are delivered by the pharmacy to the care home need to be checked into the system. So as they are scanned, uh, the system can track uh, what exactly what's been taken and what the patient was as well. So each tray has its own unique barcode on the side and all I need to do to check it in is simply scan using the barcode scanner again on the side of the tray. The other beat means it's been read and then on screen, the first verification process is asking for the, um, the patient. So you confirm the patient on screen, and then you need to check in that tray. So you, I want to check in this tray on screen. 
and they have uh, three different views of how you can um, look at the tray basically. So this particular view is like an overall view of the tray so you can quickly identify the tray that you're looking at. You can also do a label view which zooms in even more and you can individually see the actual items printed on the seal um, just for more detail. The drug view actually displays the drug photos as they are the actual items in the pots which again helps identify the actual item that you're checking in at the time. So once the carer is actually happy with all the items are in the tray, they can then check in this tray and that's that process then complete. They then need to check in all other trays for the um, system just so they're also they're ready to be um, dispensed when required. So the round due is basically the home page. Um, this is where you'll find all the residents on, in the care home with trays ready to be dispensed um, at that time that you're logged in at. So all, again, all they need to do is pick out their tray after the trolley. And again, by simply scanning the barcode on the side, this starts off the dispensing process. So now we have the actual tray on screen again. It's telling us which pods can be dispensed at the current time that we're logged in at. Um, and it's highlighted in blue, it's around. And again, you can zoom in just to double check which pod it is you're dispensing at the time. And again, double check using the drug, drug view as well. So if we go back to that one, and then we can pick out the pod on the tray. So the carrier will then pick out the pod by pushing it out as normal. And then each pod has its own unique barcode and the seal as well. So again, using the, the barcode scanner, you need to scan that barcode, which then goes through to the next stage, which is the accepting or rejecting of the items. And by simply touching on the drug photos, you can see your warnings which are attached to that particular item. Um, and that's for all items in the pod as well. So if the, uh, the resident is happy with the medication and has taken it, they can just touch the green, green tick. And that item has then gone down as being accepted. If they refuse the medication for any reason, they can just touch the red cross. And they have the uh, three default options on screen, nausea, refused or damaged. If they go for other, they have the ability to type in a, a custom rejection reason as to why this medication wasn't taken. If we go for refused, that item then goes down in red on the screen as being refused. And to finish the, the pod that we're dispensing, they can simply accept or reject all. So if we tick the top tick here, that then completes that dispensing process for that particular pod. So all the medication has been taken. That is essentially the process which the care will do you know, time and time out all the trays till they're all finished, all the residents in the care home at the time. Just simply scanning the side barcodes and then scanning the pods, accepting, rejecting on screen and moving on to the next patient as they need to. Uh, the EMAR view can be viewed by touching MAR on screen. And this is again an interactive view. You can slide across on screen to see what um, is coming uh, for future doses. And you can go down the page to see the full MAR chart, um, all the warnings and, do and dose instructions are all there as well, just as they were on the paper MAR charts. So there's no loss of information. All the information we have on our printed stuff is all, again, on the um, electronic version as well. Um, on the same patient, you can see the allergies. So if they're allergic to anything, the pharmacy can put this into the system or the user, or the carer can actually um, put in custom allergies themselves as well. Again, just by simply touching in the box and typing in that custom um, allergy. Uh, the system also has patient notes. So if they were, for example, ill in the morning, um, one carer could leave a, a note for the next carer coming in the afternoon saying, wasn't feeling very well this morning. Just so there's a, always like a record of you know, how that patient was feeling or if they rejected any items um, for any particular reason which you know, requires more information, they can go on patient notes. It really is fantastic. What else does it do? Um, there is also an Owings feature. So as I checked in items with this particular tray, if, the, uh, if any items are not actually delivered um, with the, all the rest of the um, items, they go down as Owings to be delivered at the later time. So the KM is always up to speed in terms of what is, not, is what is due to come. And once these items arrive, they can then check them in. So for example, I am missing my E45 cream. I would then scan that item as well and I can then check that item in as well if I need to. 
the system has a, a photo feature, um, so as you're going around doing the medication you can update photos live from the system just by using the built-in camera on the back of the iPad. It's a live update so as soon as that photo is taken you can either you can choose to do it then, you can actually do it straight away and upload it straight away the patient photo will change um, as you're doing the medication round. Um, if we go back to the home page, um, each, this, this home page also displays like a round history so um, once you finish your medication round you can go back to any point and see exactly what items were accepted or rejected for that particular patient. Um, again you can go back to the check-in screens if you need to and the Owings tab again is there for an actual summary of all the Owings which are due for all patients in the, in the home at the time. And there's also a link to Mar Charts which again just takes you back to that Mar Chart view for any, any patient that you want to use at the time. And then to log out, all the user needs to do is touch on log out and then anything they've now done is all being tracked, all being stored in the system and then out of the system and that's the process complete. Well, thank you very much for explaining all about that product and if you want to know more about the BMAR system then you can visit the website.